Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here. Welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Today we're going to be showcasing all the weapons in Ashes of War available in the Elden Ring Network test. Ashes of War, by the way, are basically weapon arts if you have played Dark Souls 3. The first weapon we're going to be checking out is the Reduvia, which is a dagger that scales both in strength and dexterity, far more in dexterity as most daggers do. It has a unique weapon art. There are interchangeable weapon arts in this game called Ashes of War, but some weapons you cannot put the Ashes of War on because they have their own uh, unique one. This is the case for this weapon. Just shoots blood blades. Now, as for the actual attack patterns, they did mix it up with Elden Ring, so it's not always just the same two attack patterns. So daggers have six different attack chains for R1. Change the animation from the original just R1, R1. Now you would get something a little bit more unique. So that's the one-handed light attack. Uh, as for the heavies, I'm pretty sure most weapons have a two heavy chain. Not anywhere near six, but it is it is pretty unique. I do enjoy it. Um, the running light attack, one-handed. Same as it usually is for daggers. And the running heavy, more of a thrust. As for the rolling light attack, a quick jab with the dagger and then rolling heavies for to my knowledge they don't really exist in this like in dark souls 3 when you do a rolling heavy with some weapons it does the second heavy attack you would get in the chain like with a straight sword for example you do a roll and it's heavy would be this one instead the, the second one but from what i've seen uh rolling into a heavy attack just does the standard heavy in elden ring but i'm going to test it with every weapon regardless um the jump light attack and the jump heavy which is usually a slam down move and then we'll, we'll do all the two-handed variants for each of the weapons as well. So this is the attack chain for the two-handed. Two-handed light, five attack chain. Oh wait, sorry, six. Six attack chain. And then the uh, heavy again is a two attack chain. The running light attack. And the running heavy. Rolling light attack. Rolling attempt at a heavy, but probably just the heavy. Yep. Um, and yeah, the Ash of War is still the same, whether it's two-handed or one-handed for the weapon art. So that is the Reduvia. Alright, so now I'm going to show off the counter-attack with each of the weapons as well, since I didn't have an enemy nearby to do that. But this is this is what a counter-attack is. You block a strike from an enemy, if he notices me, and then you R2 to do like a counter-attack strike. Now... They're not, it's not guaranteed to hit. They can roll away if it was a, a PvP player. Uh, but that is the counter-attack strike. And I'm going to show them with each of the weapons. So here's the counter-attack strike with the Reduvia. The next weapon we're going to check out is the Iconic Long Sword. Uh, has good scaling in both strength and dex. And by the way, the scalings in this game are pretty interesting. They're actually uh, tied to the Ashes of War. Really quick, I'm just going to show you an example. So if you do want to use a separate Ash of War than what the Straight Sword comes with, the Straight Sword comes with the Stance, which I'm going to show you, but these are all the different uh, weapon arts you can put on it. Somehow I have doubles from starting class and finding one. I'm not sure how I got two of this one. <laughs> but yeah. So when you choose a, a weapon, let's say I put a, I don't know, a Wind Stomp on it. Uh, the weapon art itself has a, a scaling that you can swap the sword to. So if you want a quality scaled straight, or straight sword, you would have to use a weapon art that has quality scaling to maximize your physical damage with it. Same if you had a faith build and you want to do a tune lightning. Um, you need a lightning weapon art, so you can't just infuse weapons anymore in Elden Ring, which is pretty interesting. But moving on to the straight swords moveset. Uh, this is its light attack chain. So it gets a 5 light attack chain. And then it's heavy, I'm pretty sure, it's just two. as just straight up the exact same as DS3, actually. Well, I wonder if the rolling heavy will still... No, we get the thrust instead of what would be the normal... This would normally be how the, the rolling R2 works with swords that have that attack chain. Um, Alright, the running light attack. The running heavy. I think that's an interesting change. The running heavy is a nice addition to Elden Ring. You don't do a jump attack just from doing a running heavy attack. It's a little different. We get the slam down and the rolling light. Uh, we get the jumping light and the jumping heavy attack. I do like the jump heavy attacks. They are really cool, honestly. 
And moving on to two hand again. So this is the light attack chain. Still five, I believe. Yes. And then the R2 chain. Just two slashes. And the running light two handed. And the running heavy two handed. The two handed rolling attack. A thrust, and then I'm guessing the two handed rolling. It's gonna be like a slash. Like, this looks like the old two handed R2 slash, actually. Yeah. The jump light and the jump heavy. Which is really cool, actually. I love that. <laughs> and as for the weapon, it has a stance. So we have both the guard break stance again with the, the L2 light attack and then the L2 heavy. These two are identical to DS3. And you can interchange the Ashes of War, like I said, with this weapon. So. Now for the Longsword's counter attack strike. Looks like that. And you can get a guaranteed crit off with certain weapons that do what seems like more poise damage, where you break through their poise. Gives them a stun, because that didn't happen with the dagger that we used. So, Moving on to the Bastard Sword. So the Bastard Sword has, I think the, the Great Swords have four light attack chains. The third one looks similar to the first, but it definitely is slightly different. So one-handed lights. One-handed heavies. A two attack chain again, I believe. And then it just resets. Yep. Then we have the running light attack one-handed. The running heavy. I actually like the running heavy on both the one-handed and two-handed. The horizontal sweep is nice. The rolling light attack. And the rolling heavy. Which doesn't exist, it's just the heavy. <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling it rolling heavy. And then we have the jump R1. And the jump R2 being the slam down. Now we do the two-handed moveset for you guys. Again, I'm pretty sure it has a two or a four hit chain for the two-handed. Yes. And then the heavy has a two as well. The running light attack. I do like that one. And the running heavy. Basically like the old uh, great sword running attack from Dark Souls 3. The rolling light two-handed. Slam down. And there's no rolling heavy, but you know. <laughs> it would look like the jump light and the jump heavy. The weapon art that it starts with is a stomp, but I like to put on the lightning strike because the lightning strike one is pretty cool. Alright, now this is the bastard sword counterattack. <laughs> Straight up killed him. <laughs> Alright. Moving on to Ordovis' Greatsword, which is a quality weapon, naturally, and it can't be infused because it does have its own special weapon art, so we'll show it off right here. This is a unique weapon art to, to only the sword. And I'm pretty sure the moveset's going to be identical to the Bastard Sword, but we're still going to go through the chains. Four hit lights, the two heavy chains, one-handed, the running attack, and the running heavy. The rolling light attack. And the, the regular rolling heavy. Uh, jump light. Jump heavy. Yeah. And then we two handed. Same thing though. It's going to have the four light attack chain. And the two heavy. The running two handed light attack. The running two handed heavy. I do like that one. The rolling light. And the rolling heavy. Jump attack. Jump heavy. And yeah, the iconic weapon art, obviously. Alright, this is the Ordovis Greatsword counter attack. See what I mean by it's not guaranteed? If they're doing an attack chain, they can interrupt you. So the way I see that working is trying to block maybe the end hit of an attack chain combo and then you can get the strike off at least on the pve on the pvp who, who knows honestly this is the curve sword move set the the one-handed light attack chain so it's got six the heavy attack chain one two the curve sword's a bit different though if you do fully charge the r2 you get the double spin. Same with the second part of the heavy. 
the running light attack and the running heavy the rolling attack roll and then heavy jump light jump heavy and then we'll do the two-handed moveset so we got the six uh, light attack attack chain the two heavy uncharged and then the charged version gives you the twist the rolling light rolling heavy running light attack two-handed running light attack or uh, running heavy attack sorry a jump and a jump heavy I have to uninfuse it to remember pretty sure it was just oh wait uh, does it get a second yeah so it's the spin slash like the wind sword from Dark Souls 3 very similar to that weapon art all right now this is the scimitar counter attack Pretty clean, pretty clean. Next up we have the Dragon Scale Blade, which is a really cool katana. It scales in pretty much everything except intelligence. It's more dex, faith than anything, but you do get scaling off everything. It does have an iconic weapon art as well, its own. And now it's buffed with lightning and ice, <laughs> and it actually can cause frostbite, so I thought that was pretty cool. Its skill is called Hailstorm, a fixed skill for the Dragon Scale Blade. The blade calls down a bolt of ice, temporarily imbuing it with ice and lightning. All right, so it's a uh, light attack chain one-handed. I'm gonna get away from these blood stains. I don't know how everybody's dying there, to be honest. Like, <laughs> so it's got a five light attack chain, and then its heavy is still two, I believe. Now, whether you charge that or not, it still will do the two slashes. This is a fully charged. The running light attack and the running heavy attack. The jump light, jump heavy, jump heavy. The rolling light and the rolling heavy. <laughs> Not really, but you know. And then the two handed moveset. So here's the uh, light attack chain. I do really enjoy that one's light attack chain. I thought it, I thought it mixed it up pretty well. The swing patterns are cool. And then the uh, two hit heavy chain. The running light attack. And in this game, the running heavy, in my opinion, is better. The running heavy is actually the katana thrust now. The rolling light. Iconic normal rolling light attack from katanas and the rolling heavy, which is just going to be the heavy, but you know. And yeah, and then one more for the for the cool weapon art that it has. <laughs> the Dragon Scale Blade counterattack. Straight up killed him. Didn't even get to do the crit. <laughs> Alright, next up we have the Twin Blades. One of my favorite weapons in the network test, actually. It's a quality weapon, naturally, but you can infuse it with whatever weapon art you want. Uh, its late attack chains are... So it's got a five light attack chain, one handed, and it's heavy attack, one, two. If you fully charge it, I don't think they change for this weapon, but we'll do it anyway. The running light attack, and the running heavy. I found that pretty good for guard breaks. The running heavy and the two handed one you'll see is pretty good for guard breaking because it does hit multiple times. It does get stamina damage on shields from what I've seen. Um, the rolling light and the rolling heavy and then we have the jump light attack and the jump heavy attack just a plunge into the ground now the two-handed move set so it's five again with this oh six maybe actually one two three four five Six, seven. Two-handed is so different than one-handed now that I see that. Yeah, that one really only has five. Whereas the two-handed one actually gets seven actual strikes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Well, sound animations on the strikes anyway. That's a light chain, though. The heavy. One. Two. I think it's just two. Yeah. Wait, was that different? Let's just charge the initial heavy. Oh, that's definitely different. The charge on this adds quite a bit more attacks. Does like a double, and then does a double 360 as well. Well, it does a 360 in the spin before it, and then... That's really cool. Never really tried a fully charged heavy like that. Alright, so we got the running light attack two-handed. And the running heavy two-handed. It's pretty cool. The jump light. The jump heavy. Slam down. And then it's weapon art. And you, which you continue. You just hit L2 twice for two. So that's the first half. That's the second half. The twin blade counter attack. Goodbye, Miss the Knight. Moving on to the club. The bonk. The bonk has the war cry weapon art naturally. And then we have, let's try the light attack chain. So it's got five, although a lot of them look similar. <laughs> the heavy attack. That was it fully charged. Okay, so you have to do a consecutive R2 again. So this is it without the war cry. Okay, so we're gonna have to do something different for this weapon. So this is the, the heavy attack chain without the war cry. I think it's three. Or no, it's just two. It's just two. Uh, and then we can do the war cry. This is the first R2. It does the flail. And if you hit R2 again, you can do the last two attacks. So initial charge up for the flail can be prolonged by charging up R2. And then the rest of the flail. The running attack. The running heavy. The light jump attack. The light heavy should be a slam. Yeah. The rolling attack. And attempt at rolling heavy. I wonder if uh, the roll attack is different or anything with the war cry. Doesn't seem like it. Running heavy seems the same. Running light seems the same as well. Take off the weapon. And then we'll put it back on. Try the run attack again. Slash. And then the running R2 is a slam. War cry, the running R1 is a slash. Okay, so it doesn't change those two. I was just wondering. All right, now let's go two-handed. So we got the R1 attack chain. Still five, I believe. Yes. And then the heavy attack chain. Two, I think, different animations over the right side. We'll fully charge it now. <laughs> let's do the running attack two-handed. The running heavy two-handed. Rolling attack. Rolling light attack. Attempt at rolling heavy. Jump light. Jump heavy. I think the war cry is ending when I fully charge it. Okay, no, we're good. It was just, it was weird. It was messing up and I'm not sure why. So this is the fully charged first half of it. And the fully charged second. Then the light attack. I mean the, the uncharged version, not the light attack. Yeah. The club counter attack. All right, moving on to the battle axe. Again, naturally quality scaling. It's unique weapon art is. What about holding it? Okay, this means just holding it as I walk. Interesting, I've never used this weapon. So it's just like a constant slashing and slow drain at my FP. Come here, goat. <laughs> okay, now this is its light attack chain. One, two, three, four, five. That's about right. It's heavy chain, should probably still be two. Let's see, yeah, just two. Um, it's running light attack. It's running heavy attack. The rolling light attack. The rolling heavy. Jump light and jump heavy. Let's try two handed now. Oh wait, well this the war cry actually. Oh wait, no, it's not war cry, it's frenzy. That's right. I'm so used to axes having war cry. Alright, the two handed light attack chain should still be five. Five different slashes. And then we got the R2. Should still be two. We'll try to fully charge it though, just to see. Alright. 
Uh, the running light attack when two-handed. And the running heavy. The rolling light attack. And the rolling heavy. Jump light. Jump heavy. The battle axe counterattack. How dare you interrupt my battle axe. Then we have the winged spear. Which is the starting class weapon for the enchanted knight. Very interesting. So it's got one, two, three, four. Wait, hang on. So it's quality scaling naturally. And it's got a four attack chain when light -handed or two handed. When one handed doing the light attack, I cannot English. And then we'll try the heavy attack chains. One, two, probably. Yeah. Seems like it's just two. One, two. The running light attack and the running heavy. The rolling light attack and the rolling heavy. The jump light, which is kind of cool. I do enjoy the thrust forward in the air. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. And then the, the jump heavy slam down. And its weapon art is determination. Oh, okay, that's actually a skill that you can uh, put on all your weapons. Hold your armament to your face and pledge your resolve powering up your next attack. So the next hit after you use this is powered up. I remember that war or that ash of war. All right, now two-handed. We got probably still a four attack chain. Yeah, and then two for the heavy. Although I think, let's figure out to fully charge this one. It does a walk forward, yes. And then it's, oh, it doesn't slam it into the ground, but it does do a walk forward charge. All right, and then we have the running light and the running heavy. The rolling light attack and the rolling, non-existent rolling heavy. <laughs> The jump light and the jump heavy, which are the same, I'm pretty sure. Nice, yeah. The winged spear counter attacks. Gotta start doing it on just the end chain. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. That is the winged spear. Moving on to the lance. I love how this has been in so many of the Souls games. But the uh, Lance's weapon art, I believe, is still its own charge. Yeah. What do they call it in this? Oops. It's called Charge Force. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Alright, then we have the attack, the light attack chain one-handed, which I think is three. Yeah, this one's interesting. So it's got one, two, three. Uh, it's heavy attack chain, I believe. Let's try a fully charged one. One, and then two. Same as the spear, I believe. One, two. The running light attack. The running heavy. <laughs> the iconic charge. Um, the rolling light. The rolling heavy. And then we have the jump light, which is this, the thrust that the spear has. And the jump heavy. It's pretty awesome though. This weapon's pretty cool. I definitely have to use this more. The light attack chain two-handed, I believe, is still three hits. And then uh, the R2 chain. Still the same, I assume. But we'll try it fully charged. Because I do remember sticking this in the ground at some point. Oh, yeah. Well, it could just be the angle I was looking at. And then we have the running light attack. The uh, running heavy. The rolling light. The rolling heavy. Which doesn't, yeah. Jump light with the thrust again. And then jump heavy will be the plan. And finally, the Lance counterattack. Gonna do an attack chain on me this time. Ooh, nice. It's a nice clean finish. That is the Lance, not the Grey Lance, just the standard Lance. And then I guess we can use the bow. I don't really have uh, any ar arrows to show you. I have sleep arrows, which I guess are kind of a waste, but it's, a f it's fine. So we just have the standard R1. The weapon art puts you in a stance where you can fire arrows quickly and... Oh wait, not... Oh, oh god. A powerful arrow. Okay, I thought it was going to be like the the quick-shotting arrow, but it's more like a, a power arrow shot. And then we have a rolling attack. 
and a jump attack. And I guess you could do a running attack where you fire quick. That is the bow. And then you guys have seen the cast. I'll just show you the casting tools. Not that they really do anything, but um, <laughs> they have a they have a hit. Hey, I mean they have a hit. So they have a, a jumping uh, heavy. They actually do. You can slam down with the sorcerer staff. That's funny. Running heavy? No, it just becomes the regular hit. What about like a rolling heavy? No. <laughs> That's pretty funny. What about the? Uh... Yeah, you can punch with the talisman, I suppose. Can you do the jump plunge? You can. You can indeed. Um, okay. And the other talisman will be the exact same thing. Yeah, the claw seal. And then we have the torch. And the torch actually has a move set. So it's got an attack chain. A 4R1 attack chain. Uh, the heavy attack chain, probably two. And then we have the running attack. And the running heavy. The rolling light. And the rolling heavy. As well as the jump away. Light and then the jump heavy. Doesn't have a weapon art though, it seems. It just becomes... Okay, so if you two-hand these kind of things and you hit L2, it's just like a heavy attack. Noted. I guess, you know what? We'll look at the shields too, because why not? The shields actually have a 4 R1 attack chain. I was not expecting that. I'm going to be honest. The R2... Has a two hit chain. The running light attack. The running heavy. <laughs> rolling light with the shield. Rolling heavy. Um, jumping light. Yeah, I guess I guess they all have them. Jumping heavy. And parry is its regular weapon art. Um, two handed. Yeah, it's got a different attack chain for two handed. All right, two handed heavy chain. <laughs> It's really funny. The running light. And the running heavy. The jumping light. And the jumping heavy. The rolling light. And the rolling heavy. That's interesting. And still parry. Um, well, the iron round shield's gonna be the exact same thing. The attack chains are gonna be the same because they're the same style of shield. The coil shield, what does this count as here? It's a small shield as well. So it's gonna have the same attack patterns. Um, just want to make sure here. Yeah, I will. So I want to show those off. But it does have a different weapon art. So it strikes with the sword and it, it causes poison uh, buildups. What do they actually call the weapon art? Viper Bite. A fixed skill for the coil shield. The bronze venomous snake comes to life and stretches out to bite your foes. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was pretty interesting. That was a different addition to the game. The red thorn round shield counter hits. Yes. Shields have counter hits. And we can do a nice little swap. The iron round shield counter hit. I wonder if shields have crits. No. <laughs> I was like, how long does he stay stunned there? I like look around for my weapon. That's interesting. And now the coil shield counter attack. I wonder if it's going to use the poison bite or something. I don't know. But I can use the poison bite. <laughs> Alright. Coil shield counter attack. And then we have the carrion glintstone, glintstone shield. Which probably does have a different attack chain. And maybe not. Maybe it's the same as the small shields. Even though it's considered uh, just the shield. Different light, running light, running heavy. So far it's the same though, rolling light. I guess they just gave most shields uh, the animation. Let's try the running light one-handed. Yeah. Should be Sorcerer Hunter is the skill. Swinging your shield to form a force field that stops magic and reflects it back as small glintstone shards. Oh yeah, that's right. It's different. I haven't actually used this, but when you deflect magic, you get glintstone shards. On, over your head, kind of like uh, homing soul mass. The carrion shield counter attack. <laughs> Into swap crit to be fancy again. All right, those are all the weapons that are available in the network test. I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. If you have a favorite weapon, comment it below. I'm interested to see what you guys thought. And I'll see you guys in the next Elden Ring video. Goodbye.